Thank you, peers, Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, the PS, the Chairman of Kenya National Examination Council, the Chief Executive Officer, Kenya National Examination Council, Chairman of various parastatals here, the Secretary Teacher Service Commission, and uh, officers from education and administration. Good afternoon. Your Excellency, sir, today here we have officers of government from each and every sub county, right from coast province, coast region to western, Nyanza to northeastern, eastern, central, Nairobi, and every part of Kenya is represented here. We have 383 deputy directors of education here with us representing the various sub-counties in our country. We have 367 deputy county commissioners and we have 126 assistant county commissioners. Uh, we also have county directors of education plus other top officers in the ministry. Your Excellency, sir, I was here by 8 a.m. and we went through the procedure and the system and the mechanism that is supposed to be undertaken to ensure that this year's exam is credible and that it undergoes all the processes of integrity because we want to make sure your excellence 100 percent that we will be able to deliver a credible exam to the Kenyans. Your Excellency, I want to thank you because today Easter has been set in two ways. One, Your Excellency, is your presence here because as they have confirmed, at no time have we had His Excellency, the Deputy President, at any given time gracing and launching a national examination apart from this day. Can we applaud this excellent president, the deputy president? We thank you, sir, because even ever since the time I was nominated as the cabinet secretary of education, I've been engaging you time and again. Even at one time, you gave us an opportunity to come with the chief executive officer of Kenya National Examination Council, Dr. David Lewis here, to give you a proof that indeed all is well and we are going to deliver a credible exam to the Kenyans. So as we went through the process in the morning, we were able to identify the loopholes and we did agree on one thing. One, that today, as we hand over the padlocks, Indeed, the process has formally started. And we say to the county commissioners here and the directors of education, sir, that the 493 storage centers and the distribution centers that we have in the country, actually their work starts as they are opening uh, uh, the container. That is when the work starts. And from there on, until each and every paper is done, that we'll be able to expect monitoring uh, uh, and a very close cooperation among us, all the government agencies, so that each and every day uh, they are reporting that all is okay. And uh, so we also came up with a new system where we say each and every one of them, and each and every one of them, including the security personnel, going to man the centers will be personal accountable. And uh, the way we used to do in operation order, such that in instructions are given in a very clear manner, in this particular as aspect, we also said, this is a national exercise of national importance, such that it is like an operation order, 
where very clear instructions have to be given so that we are able to do what is right. So the second set of history that is being done today, indeed, we are having three exams being done concurrently from 28th of this month up to 30th. And of course, the Form 4 exam will be able to continue until the 23rd of uh, uh, December. So it's another history in the making, but all arrangements are well. We have been able to deploy a now personnel, of course, uh, adequate uh, uh, center managers as confirmed by none other than the CEO of Teacher Service Commission, and also the supervisors and the infiltrators. Even them, your excellency, sir, this time round we said they will be personally held accountable, such so that uh, as they open the papers, particularly the second paper, they will be able to uh, indicate what time they opened it, and there was, uh, it will also be witnessed by the security personnel, such that uh, without the checks and appearances, we hope that we will be able to deliver uh, something that Kenyans will be proud about, because Your Excellency, education is a key, and we cannot be able to entertain we cannot be able to accommodate any kind of malpractice, any kind of leakage, any kind of uh, 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 thing that will be able to compromise the integrity of this national exam. So, sir, we want to assure you and assure the country that each and every action has been taken. We will be moving around. Actually, there will be proving from 14th to 18th, 18th of this month. Uh, to all our officers, and we had prepared, uh, in including those other schools where people were saying the population is a little bit too high, like Nairobi, Mombasa, certain schools, we have come up with necessary arrangements to ensure that all goes well. So we will make Kenya proud. Did you assure me that we will make the country proud? Did you assure me? Can you assure His Excellency and the Deputy President that we are going to deliver, because it is you here and all of us who are going to make sure that we deliver a credible exam. Can you raise your hands to assure His Excellency that all will be well? So, sir, we are ready and indeed we are going to do it. His Excellency, for those of you who don't know, he has a background. And his background is in civil service. He's a career civil servant, and uh, those of you in administration, you know, we have been in that game together. And in administration, we used to say one thing. No assignment can ever be given to you that you cannot manage. In actual fact, at the KIA, Your Excellency, you remember what you used to say? Like Julia Caesar, that you have been given as an assignment. You say, yes, I went, I saw, I conquered. So in this particular world, you are going to? You are going to conquer. We are going to manage and the success will so, sir. So with these many remarks, it is now my very present, uh, present and humble duty to welcome His Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya to talk to all of us. Kindly, Your Excellency. Can you be up standing, please? My coffee.